And then I'll actually have one more to go. So if I'm looking at the square root of 56, ladies and gentlemen, um, hopefully you guys identify, you know 8 times 8 is 64, right? And hopefully you know that 7 times 7 is 49. So therefore, there's no two integers that I can multiply that are going to give me 56, right, Macy? You agree? Of course you agree. So one thing I can do is I can well say, well, let me go and see if I can apply my prime factorization and see if I can find any pairs. So what I want you guys to do is let's factor this. Now, I know that this is, uh, this is even, so let's just do the easy way. Let's just divide it by 2, right? And then 28, all right, I'll divide that by 2 again. And I'll divide that by 2 again, which is 2 times 7. Would everybody agree I did my prime factorization correct? Okay, so therefore, I can say the square root of 56 is equivalent to 2 times 2 times 2 times 7. Now, how many of those can I take the square root of? Well, remember, you can only take the square root of when you have a pair, right? You, guys, you don't need me to show that again, right? You guys understand that the pair of numbers that are exactly the same, you can take the square root of. So therefore, I can take the square root of 2 times 2, which is just 2. I don't need a square root anymore for the 2. However, I still have 2 and 7 that I cannot take the square root of because they don't have a pair, right? So therefore, 2 times, I'm sorry, where? Right. Square root of 4 is 2, right? 2 squared is the same thing as 4, right? 2 times 2 is the same thing as 2 squared, which is the same thing as 4. So any time you group a number multiplied by itself, you can take the square root of it, and it's just going to equal 2. So I take the square root of 2 times 2 and just gave me 2. But I can't take the square root of 2 times 7 because they don't have that pair, right? So that's why it's still 14 under there. Make sense? OK. So what I'd like you guys to do um, for your problem is I'd like you